Once upon a time, back in the early 1900s, admissions to Ivy League universities was dependent on passing a battery of subject-specific tests, with the top scorers gaining admission. But then, to the chagrin of the WASP elites running those schools, the Ivy League started filling up with too many Jews. By 1920, Columbia University, located in New York City, then the epicenter of American Jewish life, was 40% Jewish. Harvard's Jewish student population surpassed 20%, and that number was on the rise. Harvard's president at the time, A. Lawrence Lowell, declared they had a Jewish problem. His proposed solution was capping Jewish admittance at 15%. He also suggested admitting as transfers only those Hebrews possessed of extraordinary intellectual capacity together with character above criticism. Character, in Lowell's estimation, meant the right pedigree, or at the very least, the ability to seamlessly blend in. Harvard's admissions committee rejected Lowell's proposal, although his aims were achieved anyway when Harvard and the other Ivies as well adopted something called selective admissions. Instead of taking an entrance exam, applicants now had to complete a lengthy application, write a personal essay, present a list of extracurricular activities, solicit letters of recommendation, and sometimes even sit for a personal interview. The result was that instead of a straightforward admissions process, admissions became clouded in subjective amorphous criteria. That, in addition to the creation of legacy privilege, achieved the desired result of keeping Jewish numbers down. These quotas died out somewhat by the early 1960s, following World War II, as veterans entered college on the GI Bill and brought with them changing attitudes, although the impact, as well as the process itself, remains in effect until today.